Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and this is Papa Steph and I have a bit of a new unboxing for you. This is from a company called Girl Lux. So I think this is their first or second box. You can tell that it's not maybe as established as some of the bigger brands, but I'm really excited for what's inside here. And I think it's really cute that they've made the effort to decorate it and make it look like a gift. It came with a little bit of um, packing peanuts inside a pink wrapper as well. So it was inside a, a bag when it arrived. First I was like, what is this? So this is what the box looks like once you've taken off. It's not very branded or anything yet, but I'm willing to bet that's something that would come with time. Inside you've got a little bit of, so it's a bit paper, so it is cute. They're very, very new. It says, at Girl Lux, we, we pride ourselves on providing quality products. A number of our personalized soaps had imperfections. And therefore, in lieu of these, we've treated everyone to a Morphe highlighter. Thank you for your understanding. Okay, well, I guess that was like more of a letting me know something that was going on. I thought it was just an introduction to the box, but that's super cute. It also has um, the information you're going to need for one of the products in here to make sure that you don't have any allergies. So inside it's wrapped super cute. Again, going with that theme of it being really like a gift, like a present, which I adore. I'm just going to go ahead and try and peel this. The paper is really pretty. I don't know if you can tell, it's like pearlescent on here. And then, okay. So, a few things going on here. The sneak peeks had already shown us that we were gonna be getting one of these. So this is the Morphe, I've got the shade Steamy Red Lipstick. RRP 12 pound, recently been on promo for around about five pound. I only paid five pound for the full box because it is a promo and it would be 24.99 per month afterwards. So I'll consider this at the 12 pound price point, but just so you guys know, that's where that's at. The next thing I've got in here, Okay, so I don't, I don't personally love this. I don't use a lot of drugstore foundations. However, it's great to get a chance to try something new, something different that you wouldn't have picked up for yourself. So this is super cute. I don't know if it's a mini, it's a 15 ml and it is the Nude Magic BB Blush and Universal Rosy Blush. Um, let's have a look, is it sealed? It is not sealed. It looks like, um, it's actually coming out clear. How, is this one of the ones that changes color? It is. It's one of the ones that changes color on you. That's so pretty. See, and that's the sort of reason why you should never judge it and just be like, well, I didn't want that. Um, it's always fun to get to play around with something different. That's so nice. And if you're looking to just do very natural makeup one day, you want to add like a little, little flush of color in your cheeks. That's gorgeous. So love that. Next thing I've got, another little mascara. I've got a few of these to go through at the moment, but this is Laura Geller. And I know that a lot of people have been saying she has mystery bags and products kind of all over the place just now, but we haven't really tried her. So I think it's great to get the opportunity to try from that brand. I also have, there's a few more things going on here. The little Linda chocolate, which is also my sneak peek. And that was what the um, allergy information was for. And I've got, so I knew we were getting one of these as well. This bottle kind of looks like it's got less in it than I would maybe have expected, but it's possible that that's just the way these ones come. Definitely doesn't look like it's been opened before, so I think it is just that they don't actually come super full. I'm glad I got this colour. There's a few colour options, and I think this one's going to be really pretty and suited to my pale skin. They didn't ask for information about my skin type, so I think it is just kind of like your luck a little bit what you get. Um, but very pretty and it worked very well for me. I've got highlighter stickers in here as well which is what she'd referred to instead of the soap. I actually think that that's super sweet that they did that. Um, this is the sort of shade here so it looks like it's again, oh it's actually lighter than I thought, quite universal and it's slightly different from the taxi one so there's a bit of differentiation there which I really like. I think these are maybe worth about, maybe about £10, £12 as well as the lipstick. So definitely getting your value for your £25 and I'm not done. I've got a little flower bomb sample in here. Um, I definitely don't mind that, I love this perfume. I actually have a little sample that they sent out. So that's super cute to get in there as well. I love them when you're traveling or you're going on a night out because you don't want to carry your full big bottle everywhere with you. 
The last item I've got in here is an eyeshadow palette from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Again, this is the one that we see around, but you might not necessarily have got the opportunity to try. Um, and this is the shades that are in here. Personally, for me, this isn't shades that I would normally use, which I think is a good thing because it gives you the chance to try something without investing a lot of money in it. But also it's going to give me the chance to try the formula and see how it feels when I'm blending. Like, you know, how I can work with the product and whether or not it's something that I would like to buy more from the brand for. So all in, a great array of products. Nothing was too samey and very makeup focused, which is very me. I think it is very luxe and it does feel like a nice little treat present. And I would say at $24.99, it is coming in a little bit more expensive than the alternatives in the market. But which alternatives have you seen, including these types of products? A lot of the other ones, like you're seeing the same products across Rockabox, Birchbox and Glossybox. And there's a reason for that, but they've just tried to break away from that a little bit. So whilst I love those boxes, there's going to be a little bit less repetition now that you're working with a brand that is maybe going out and going outside of the box <laughs> to get other brands that aren't as, you know, everywhere, like aren't, what's the word? Common, aren't as common in beauty boxes. So all in, I would say I'd need to give this a really positive review. I think they've done a great job, especially for an early box. I think they've managed customer expectations really well. I think it's definitely value for money. I mean, especially for me having only paid five pounds for this one. But even for the $24.99, like you're definitely getting your money's worth from this box. So I will be looking to support them. This is how you spell their name. Um, I don't know if they do any kind of referral program. Obviously, I will let you know, but I'll definitely link down below either way, regardless. So let me know if you sign up. Let me know what you get in next month's box. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, you can go ahead and leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more content from me and aren't already subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button too. Thank you very much and have a great day.